Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about chapter number four, which is rates and ratios. And this is the part of statistics MSAT achieve math. So in the previous chapter, we discussed about the mean, median mode and also about the probabilities and also about the percentages and the data types. If you are not gone through those, please follow the link given in the description box below and you can watch it. And also subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload a new videos, you will be notified. So now let's start with the chapter number four, that is rates and ratios. So this is probably a part of like, you know, physics. So rates or we also say a speed. That is how do we write the rate or a speed? Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Or we also say average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time. As I say, speed is also named as a rate. So all the questions related here with is the distance time, it could also ask in terms of work done or in terms of like, you know, other concepts like ratios. So let's take a first example here. It's related with the ratios. In a school, there are three girls for every two boys. There are 650 students in total. How many students are girls? So they are talking about out of the ratio of girls to boys is three is to two. Referring to that, out of 650 students, how many students are girl? This is the question of the type a ratio as part to total. So there are two types of ratios we represent. One is part to part. That is the ratio of girls to boys, for example. Another one is part to total. That is the ratio of girls to the total students in the class. So here we can say that the ratio here, the question is based on the part to total. So I should say there are three girls out of total five students in the class. This is the ratio of girls. Now to calculate only total number of girls, total girls out of 650, multiply this ratio with the total students. So that gives us three by five out of 650, put it in the calculator, you'll be getting it as 390. So there are 390 girls are there out of 650 in the class. So we go with option B as the right choice. Question number two says, Selim is making a delivery to a store. The total trip was 680 kilometers. He is driving at a constant rate or a constant speed of 75 kilometer per hour. He has already driven 80 kilometers. How much longer will it take him to get to the store by hours. So what they are trying to say, Salim has to cover a total distance of 680 kilometers with the speed of 75 kilometer per hour. He has already driven 80 kilometers so far. So he needs to cover the remaining distance as what distance he needs to cover? 680 minus 80, that is 600 kilometers. And to cover this distance, Salim can draw an, a drive with a speed of 75 km per hour. Speed, what he can drive is what? 75 km per hour. We are asked to find out the time. So what is the time in hour? You can also expect the time in terms of minutes as well. You just need to do the conversions. The unit conversions will be given in the data sheet. Refer it and do it accordingly. As per the rule, we know that speed is equals to distance divided by time. From that, time can be written as distance divided by speed. So distance is 600 supposed to cover with the speed of 75. Put it in the calculator. 600 divided by 75, what do you get? So that gives us 8 hours. 8 hours is the time he need further to cover the remaining distance. So answer to this one is going to be 8. So if, as I said, if they ask you in terms of minutes, multiply it by 60 to convert that hours to minutes. Question number three here is about the proportionality. And there are two types of proportionality. One is called direct proportional, which is also say data varies directly. And another one is inverse proportional, which we say data vary inversely. So here they say, identify the equation with the constant of proportionality of eight. So when the data are directly proportional, let's take for example, I can say that X is directly proportional to Y. 
mathematically this can also be written as x is equal to some constant times y okay so this is further can be rewritten as what is the value of that constant x divided by y is equals to a constant here so now they are saying us that proportionality constant is 8 identify the which equation gives us so which option is going to give us so you can divide a y value with x value to get the result as 8. So that is what I can say. Or x value with y value, you get a result as 8. So which one you can see? You can see it is in the last option. Why? Because when you are dividing x, like, you know, 4x by 2y, here it is giving me just 2. I need 8 as a constant value. That is 24x divided by 3y. That gives us 8. So 8x by y and that x by y is what? A constant. So we are asked to find that constant. What is its value? It's going to be 8. So we go with last option. Question number 4 says two cars leave town 600 km apart at the same time and travel towards each other. One car's rate is 10 km per hour less than the others. If they meet in 4 hours, what is the rate of the slower car? So they are trying to say two cars are moving towards each other from the opposite direction. Suppose if I say this is the car, one car which is going in this direction. Let me say this car is traveling in this direction with the rate of x. Another car which is going in the opposite direction. Let's take this is traveling towards this with the rate of x minus 10. Because x is representing the rate or I can say speed. So now, as they are saying that these two cars are how many distance apart? They are 600 kilometers apart. So the distance what they're supposed to cover is going to be 600 kilometer. And this distance together, they covered in four hours. So time taken to cover them, this distance is going to be four hours. So what else I can understand is, as the two objects are moving in the opposite direction, whether they are going towards each other or away from each other. Their relative speed is sum of the individual speeds. So that their relative speed is equals to sum of the individual speed. Or I can also say when the two object goes in the opposite direction, that uh, their speed is equals to the total distance div uh, divided by total time. So their relatives, these are the questions related on the relative speeds. When they go in the opposite direction, I should add the speed. So together speed is equals to distance divided by time. If they go in the same direction, subtract their speed. This is how the relative speed concept works. So the speed of the first car plus speed of the slower car that is x minus 10 is equal to this is what I'm saying about the speed. So what is the formula? I can say here relative speed speed is equal to distance divided by time or I can also say the total distance divided by total time and the relative speed is add up when they go in the same direct I mean opposite direction I say so that's why we are adding them speed of the first car plus speed of the second car is equal to what distance they're supposed to cover 600 in what time four hours so x plus x minus 10, just uh, solve it. 2x minus 10 is equals to what you're going to get. 600 divided by 4, that gives us 150. 150 and solve for x. Take it to the other side. So 2x is equals to 150 plus 10 is going to be 160. Divide by 2, divide by 2, that gives us x equals to what are we going to get? 160 divided by 2, that is going to be 80. So 80 km per hour is the speed of the faster car. As the question says that one car goes 10 meter km per hour lesser than that. So I have subtracted. Now what would be the speed of the slower car? The speed of a slower car is what? It's going to be 80 minus 10. That is, I should say, 70 kilometer per hour. So this is the answer what I can say here. So answer to this question is going to be 70 kilometers per hour. This is the good level of question what you can expect.
mostly this kind of question comes in when the difficulty level of the uh, concept uh, increases okay so that's it for today's session please do like share and subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload a new videos related to it you will be notified see you guys soon in the next video thank you and all the best